Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build, we went sci-fi when we built the great big giant Mega Man sword. Um, and if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out Mega Man sword or any of the other super cool builds we have there. Now for this build, we're going to go video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> wow, check it out. Look at that rascal right there. There it is. It is the graffiti gun, Tracer's graffiti gun from the video game Overwatch. Wow, man, a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of stuff. We got this cool rounded top to the body. This recessed area at the top, the metal contraption on the front, the big canister, and we've got all this jazz going on down here. This metal stuff and the tubing and metal bars on the back and the front. That is really cool. And like I said, tons going on here. A lot of work here, but it's not hard. There's just a lot of it. Uh, so, in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Graffiti Gun Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through how to make this. And uh, we have a template for it too, so if you want to make your own graffiti gun, we'll include the link in the description below to our storefront so you can go grab a template if you want, or don't, just chill out. Um, Alright, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Alright, we're going to start with the bulk of the body of our piece here. We're going to use this 36 millimeter foam, that's an inch and a half thick. All right, there we go. There is the bulk of our body, 36 millimeter, cut out on the bandsaw. Okay, now we're gonna come in here with a 36 millimeter dowel. All right, here's our two sections, but we're gonna be cutting these on a 45 degree angle. All right. Okay, now what we're going to do is this. We're going to come in and we're gonna push this right up against our wedge just like that all right okay now what we're gonna do the reason we did this is now when we send this through the bandsaw to do some of our cuts it's not gonna roll on us because it's attached to this safety block which will keep it perpendicular all right right there all right there's our 45 degree mark all right there we go we made our cut all right, now we have to make our next measurement, which is about two and three eighths, and right about there. So we are pretty close. All right, there we go. We've got all of our, we've got our 45 made. We've got our two lengths made. Now we're going to split it right down the middle. Now all these cuts being exactly the way we want them is made possible by this. All right, here we go. Check it out. All right. Let me... Okay, now we've got our back piece and we've got our front piece. Look at that. That... All right, there we go. Now you know the drill with contact cement. Cement both sides, let it dry, and then once it dries, it'll make contact. Front and our side right there. And we're gonna lay right down. All right, there we go. We're flush right down this side. Make sure we get our front corner lined up and our side, there we go. Get the end and the side down flush, just like that. Beautiful. Check that out. Hot dog. Look at that shape right there. Okay, now we're going to come in with a 24 millimeter dowel. We're going to start working this little piece in between. Okay, so we're going to make a mark. 
where our front edge is, which is right there, okay? And it's going to come down, we're just gonna guesstimate, roughly halfway, all right? So that's gonna be right through here-ish, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to take that 45 degree angle and cut this on a 45. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to bring in our support block like we like to do. All right, just like that. All right, that's our 45 degree cut right there. There. All right, so we've got a 45 cut here, a straight cut here, and a 45 cut there. But what we need to also do is we need to split it now, right down the middle. All right, there's our center cut. All right, so now we're going to use our safety block so it keeps our dowel from rolling. We're gonna make our 45 cut, our 45 cut, then we're gonna split it. Make sure we got our bottom corner down on both sides, just like that, so it's nice and tight. Okay, now we're going to take this 18 millimeter piece and we're going to do the same thing. We want it round, so we're going to split it down the middle. Just like that. All right. Just like get it in there and get it in there. Tight set of details right there. Looks like it's coming out of the front end and coming out of the back end. All right, now we're gonna start building the handle part of our weapon. And there's a little spacer in between the handle and the body. It's a 36 millimeter stuck to a six millimeter. All right, that's what we want right there. Okay, now we've got our dust mask on. We're gonna round the edge of this off, all the way around the whole piece. All right, we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding stick. Let's seal it, tighten up our foam. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Okay, now we're going to start building our handle. We got a 24 millimeter piece of foam and a six millimeter piece that's going to go on both sides. All right. Okay, now we're going to take both of those pieces we just cut. We're going to transfer our template over. We've got these edges lined up the way they are because we want everything to go down perfectly. All right, let's cut this so we can get the rest of our template down there nicely. All right, there we go. There's our template right there. Now we're gonna go over to the band saw and the scroll saw and cut this out. All right, check it out. We've got these cool little step downs now on both sides. That's why we layer it up that way. All right. Okay, now we're gonna come back over to our handle piece here. We're gonna cut this inside line out of our template. All right, there we go.
All right, there we go. Now we're gonna get our dust mask on, we're gonna come in with our Dremel, and we're gonna bevel this edge all the way around this grip. All right, there we go, check it out. Nice beveled edge on there. Now let's come in with our 220 sanding stick. There we go, right there. All right, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our circle template and we're gonna make the back end of this a circle like that. All right, let's go cut that out on the bandsaw. Actually, we're gonna cut that out on the scroll saw. All right, there we go, look at that. That is pretty cool. All right, there we go, check that out. Now this is gonna go right back in there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of the width off on this. We're gonna have that cool little recessed area in there. Check that out, that's nice, beautiful. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to come in and we're going to soften this edge up with the Dremel. Look at that, we beveled off all the edges around the handle. Shape. That's why I like gloves. There we go. We're gonna push it in and we're gonna sandwich it in there until it bonds. There we go. That's pretty nice. Wow, there's a lot going on in that handle. This little... Make sure we're tight down in the corner there and there. That is cool. And like we always do, we build our stuff eh, a little bit bigger than we're supposed to, but that's okay because it's a prop and you want it to look jamming. So there we go. Okay, now we made a little bit of a mistake here. No one will probably ever notice it, but this wrap or this dowel right here at the front, it needs to be a little bit taller than it is right now. And what we're gonna do is we measured the distance from this bottom piece all the way around to this bottom piece so we know the proper width and we measured from here to here so we had the proper length and we measured from this corner to here so we have that length so we have the width the long length and the short length and that's the piece we drew right there so when we wrap it around there this front end is going to be on the right angle to match up right here all right and what we also need to do is this, where this wrap comes up against this 45 degree angle, the front of this piece needs to be at a 45 degree angle. So we're going to come in with our X-Acto knife tipped at a 45 degree angle. Right there, and right there. All right, that's it. That's a little bit thicker now, that's what we wanted. All right, let's seal it. Not bad. All right, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna round off this back edge and we're gonna round off this front edge.
All right, there we go. We've got a bevel on the back edge and a bevel on the front edge. Now let's come in with our 220 sanding stick and let's smooth it out a little bit. And we're going to bevel right down in there. Okay, we're going to make our trigger out of all six millimeter foam. Line up our edges and stick that piece there and there. All right, there we go. Check that out. Now, like that, and now we're going to cut right through there, and then we can draw the rest of our line. All right, there we go. Intricate trigger thing happening there. Nice, and we didn't come close with our fingers. We used support blocks on the side to run this through. Never put your fingers close to the blade. No. All right, now we're going to cut a tiny little angle off of the corner because we want that sitting in there a little bit tighter. Just like that. All right, there we go. A little angle cut right there. So this can slide right back up against there. Oh my gosh, that fits in there perfect. Then we're gonna slide that right back up against there like that. That is really cool. How we cut that little angle off the back right there just so it fits in that little part of the curve. And look at that. Okay, here we go. We're going to build this little section. It's going to go right on the front of the handle right here. We've got some 8 millimeter and some 12 millimeter. We're going to come in with our tube and pop out this 8 millimeter piece. All right, there's our 8 millimeter piece. Now we're going to cut these 12 millimeter pieces and this 8 millimeter piece out on the scroll saw. All right, now we're going to take this piece and cut it out with our X-Acto knife. All right, now we're going to Dremel the edge. All right, let's seal it. Now we've got our 12 millimeter pieces and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bevel a edge all the way around both of these. right inside our marks, just like that. All right, check that out, man. Complicated looking little piece, but super easy. Wow, is that cool? Okay, now what we did is the same thing. We took a 12 millimeter piece of foam, beveled the edge, just like we did here, 
and then we took our brass tube and we poked out a six millimeter piece of foam and we stuck it on the back. We shaved a tiny little bit of the angle off just so it fits in this corner right here. And that was it. That's really cool. Like I said. Now our next little piece is going to be a 36 millimeter and a 12 millimeter stuck together. All right, there we go. That's super thick. Holy smokes. All right, let's go over to the bandsaw and let's tear it up. Nice. That is really cool. All right, there we go. Let's seal it. Into the corner. There we go. We got a tight corner. We've got our Sharpie line all lined up. That's really nice. All right, super cool. All right, now we're gonna come in with this little four millimeter circle. We're gonna put a little puddle of super glue down. Cool, nice little circle on the front. All right, this is gonna make up our barrel. We've got an 18 and a 12 millimeter. We're gonna stick them together. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our Forstner bit and we're gonna poke this hole out right through the center of the 12. Then we're gonna stick it down together. Then we're gonna cut it out on the scroll saw. All right, there we go, beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a guideline around the edge. All right, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our dust mask on and we're gonna dremel this. All right, we're gonna dremel from the line we drew right up to that edge we cut. All right, nice. Look at that. That is so cool and super easy. All right, we're going to try to clean this little glitch off right here that we got from our scroll saw blade. All right, there we go. Nice. Now let's come in with our 220. We're going to use our marks, spin it around to make sure we get right in place. There we go. Okay, here's our wrap that's going to wrap around our body. We've got it transferred over to a six millimeter piece of foam. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come along this back edge here, all right, and we're going to cut a really steep bevel along the edge, right? So we're going to tip our knife way over. Just like that. Now we're going to come over to this side and do the same thing. So way over. That's really tilted. All right, now we're going to come in and we're going to do the same thing on these bottom cuts, but we're going to use our X-Acto knife, right? So let's get a really sharp X-Acto blade in here. All right, here we go. Now we're going to stop right at this line. We don't want to go further than that line, so we're going to... Go right there. 
straight to our line and we're going to stop right there. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to come in. There we go. All right, now we're going to come over to this side and we're going to cut these ends off. All right, now finish our cut real easy, real carefully. There we go. All right, now we flip it over. Look what we have. We have this beveled edge that hits right at this side and then has a straight perpendicular here. Same thing here. Look at that. That's really nice. All right. Template back in. All right, now, we have a center mark here, and we transferred these double zigzag lines over here on both sides, all right? So we're gonna come in with our wood burner, got our dust mask on, all right? We got the fan over here blowing the fumes out of the way because you don't wanna breathe this stuff in. All right. All right, look at that. That is beautiful. Corner to corner, very nice. And you know what, we talk about this all the time, stay at a consistent speed so your line stays the same weight. All right, now we're just gonna take our time, we're gonna do the other three lines. We took our pattern, we transferred it over to our graffiti gun. Okay, we got our center mark lined up. Okay, so now we know where we're anchored down right in the middle. So it's totally centered. Okay, roll it. All right, just like that. Now we can start to bend, all right, because we don't want to just lay it down. We talk about that all the time. Don't just lay it down. Line your edges up. There we go. Look at that. Everything's lining up nice. Okay, now we're going to start our this side by rolling it so we get a nice tight bond with our corners. There we go. And here, there we go. All right, there we go. Check that out. Hot dog, that's cool. Wow. All right, now look what we've got here. We got this tiny little recess down in here because this side comes up a little bit higher than the body. And these two ends hang over a little bit, so there's a little bit of a recess down in there. We got the even space back here and at the front. Our corner matches up here and here, here and here, pretty tight. Love this bevel that comes over and then goes to a perpendicular cut right there. That's really nice. All right, look at that. That's probably the most difficult part of the whole build is making sure this goes down centered and it sticks down right. The rest has been really easy. That was the trickiest part, but wow. Wow, there you go. You saw it. lots of work so far. We've got most of this thing complete. We've got some of the front details, a little bit of the bottom we still got to do. Um, a couple other details, but the bulk of it is done. A lot of work, but not hard. Um, so that was it. You saw it. Uh, the same kind of techniques we use on all of our builds, just repeating them all and taking our time and lining up edges and you're good to go. Uh, so that concludes making an EVA foam graffiti gun part one. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.